Welcome to the Project Arthur Genesis. This is the speculative evolution seed world inspired by Serena, as well as other speculative evolution on YouTube. Arthonia planet is a planet just seeded with ants, along with other arthropods such as butterfly, spider, crustacean, and millipede. Also other organisms such as fungi and microorganisms. Plants include mangrove, oak, shrub, pine, fern, water lily, and algae. Arthronia has one satellite smaller than the moon, called Maluna. Because Maluna is smaller than the moon, it causes gravity pull weaker than the moon which reduces tides and slower Arthronia rotation. Arthronia rotation is 26 hours compared to the Earth's 24 hours. Higher levels of oxygen increase insect body size due to reliance on diffusion for oxygen transport. More oxygen overcomes this limit. Increase activity and evolution of new life. The equator has a semi-arid climate, has the hottest temperature, and divides the northern and southern hemispheres. While the north and southern hemispheres have a tropical climate, high humidity is caused by solar radiation, wind, and hot air temperatures. Animals must adapt to regulating body temperature, and plants adapt to reduce transpiration. High precipitation caused by evaporation caused heavy rain. It can support plant growth and cause floods. And the ocean biome has warmer temperatures just like tropical seas. There are six continents on the Arthonia. Hydrania is a continent dominated by vast freshwater lakes, and a sprawling river network in the center of the continent lies a massive freshwater lake, surrounded by wetlands. This is a land of towering waterfalls and hidden caves. Verdant Expanse is the largest continent and the most varied biome on the Arthronia. A lush and vibrant continent, blanketed by a dense tropical rainforest biome with towering trees and a thick canopy. In the north is a pole with no ice, with few rocky mountains, and a tempered zone when moving up the slope. While the south of the continent has a semi-arid climate, Terra Nova is a continent characterized by a tropical rainforest. Oak trees dominate the landscape here and are also a lush grassland biome. Chytophilia is a continent covered in tropical forests and wetlands, as well as mangroves on the shore. The forest here is lush and green, with tall trees. Fungal Marsh is a continent covered in murky swamps and wetlands. The rainfall is plentiful and the ground is constantly saturated with water in some areas. The plant life here is dominated by mosses, fungi, and other water-loving plants. In the south also have few rocky mountains with tempered zones when moving up the slope. The Desolation is a harsh and unforgiving continent located in the equator, dominated by a vast desert biome. The Desolation is a place of extreme, with scorching days and frigid nights. The hottest biome on this planet, with low precipitation and very scarce plant. Starting from first seeding a colony of ants located in the verdant expanse, the ants grow faster with plenty of food and no predators. Not only grow in one colony, and also establish new colonies to take advantage of new locations with more food sources. After 10 million years post-seeding, called Protochytonia period, with plenty of food and no predators, the ants' population exploded. With higher levels of oxygen, ants grow large as large as rats. Any type of grass in here also grows larger because of genetic mutation along with high nutrient availability. Butterflies here also grow as large as eagles. As well spider grows larger to compete with ants hunting on caterpillar and butterfly. Overcrowding colonies lead to expanse by breaking away from the main colony to establish a new colony. But with too many colonies on this planet, exploitation of food sources becomes higher and leads to scarcity. Caterpillars and grass seeds as ants' food source becomes scarce. This led to competition between colonies can't be hindered. To adapt against the fierce competition, ants must change their behavior and evolve with new adaptations. Some ants' adaptation is specialized foraging or symbiosis with other species, whereas some ants focus on fungi, conifer seeds, algae on the water, or underground food sources. Some ants also adapt to living in the semi-arid biome and others adapt to life in the mountain biome. Other ants develop wings or swimming ability for easier migration. Fierce war makes some ants also develop their physical attribute. Meet Thera's Myrmidon, or called Myrmidon ants, 
their exoskeleton boasts a significantly thicker and denser exoskeleton compared to other ant species, with overlapping plates forming a carapace along the back thorax and head. These plates could be composed of a stronger variant of chitin. The forelimbs develop specialized spikes or claws for combat and digging. The mandibles are massive and heavily serrated, capable of inflicting serious damage. Due to their immense size and resource requirements, Myrmidon ants live in much smaller colonies compared to regular ants. This solitude could lead to territorial behavior, with individuals fiercely defending their hunting grounds. Myrmidon ants would be apex predators in their environment. Their strength and armor allow them to tackle prey much larger than themselves. They might hunt alone or cooperate in small groups to take down larger creatures using their powerful mandibles to tear through exoskeletons or crush smaller prey. Other ants adapt by reducing body size and meat, Oxybilos agrios, or savage ant. This allows them for faster movement, increased maneuverability, and easier infiltration of small spaces. Certain body parts are less complex to optimize for rapid reproduction. For instance, the brain is streamlined for tasks related to swarming and coordinating attacks, sacrificing some individual intelligence. The mandibles are adapted to pierce exoskeletons. The savage ant prioritized rapid reproduction to overwhelm prey with sheer numbers. Queens lay eggs continuously, with worker ants focusing solely on nurturing the brood and preparing for the next swarm. These ants rely on overwhelming their prey with massive swarms. They target larger creatures, using their mandibles to pierce exoskeletons. Due to their small size and streamlined bodies, the savage ant requires minimal food intake. They can survive on grass seed, or even decaying organic matter, making them adaptable to various environments. With fierce colony war, make carrion abundant. Some ants also adapt to take advantage of this opportunity to become scavengers. As the years passed, the scavenger ant species evolved into more active hunting other ants as their food source. They grow larger with stronger mandible, which makes them become more powerful carnivorous ants that can even hunt spider. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we will discuss more about the diversity of species on the Arthropia planet, maybe the adaptation of ants for war or the carnivorous species. Leave me a comment if you have any thoughts on this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video.